stands for Together Individual Entertainment. Remember to like and subscribe to my page. Also, follow me on Together Individual Entertainment Facebook. And, of course, Ty Blanc here on YouTube. And, of course, on my podcast on Anchor.fm and Spotify. Okay, uh, today I've decided to start a new tradition when it comes down to the five days of Christmas. That's right. I don't know about you, but I hear it. There's only five more days till Christmas. You know yep. Five more days until Christmas. You know what that means. Five more sleeps until it is time to wake up, open presents and everything. But instead of a reading along today, I'm giving out the ideas of what you need to be prepared for on Christmas Eve. Okay, so let's start with the number one thing for Christmas Eve. Treats. So Santa comes and visits you guys on Christmas Eve every single night. He delivers the presents. He does what he has to. But we need to remind ourselves that we need to leave out treats for Santa Claus. We need to make sure we leave out the cookies and milk because that is something that Santa's going to need in order to keep his energized and, and keep going in a way. Of course, we also want to make sure that we're ready for bedtime. So... Um, basically here's two ideas. You can watch like a Christmas themed movie that could be like a Muppets Christmas Carol or Polar Express or of course the cartoon version of Twas the Night Before Christmas. We're talking like a lot of things that we can do on Christmas Eve. But of course if you still have a little one that you do not wish to get in so much technology with that you need to make sure that you want to stick with story time, um... You can always just read a bedtime story, but here on my YouTube page on Christmas Eve, I am going to do a Christmas Eve storytelling event, which means I'm going to have to come over here. Uh, I'm going to have to like pre-record or uh, do something real fast before I go over to my brother's. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to my brother's or someplace on Christmas Eve, so I've got to, like, do it real fast in order to do it, like, now and all that stuff, but, um, I will be reading, like, twice the night before Christmas on Christmas Eve, um, and, or you guys, if you have, like, uh, here's a list of storybooks that you need to read to your kids on Christmas Eve, uh, twice the night before Christmas, Grinch, Polar Express, uh, Christmas Carol, depending on how long it is, uh, for instance, if you want to stick with, like, the 12 days of Christmas, read along, and, uh, you don't want to, like, keep going from separate book to separate book like I have, uh, you can always stick with, like, a Christmas Carol, the longer version of chapters, where you could just enter a new chapter each night, or, um, you can find a shorter version of the Christmas Carol, and you could just read it on Christmas Eve, um, the other thing that I think you might want to reconsider is, like, um, like doing a craft or something as you're watching uh, NORAD. So, NORAD is a website, uh, NORAD created a website in 1997 where uh, we can watch Santa uh, to know where his location is and everything. So, um, here's the thing. Uh, you might want to get the kids doing a craft or something uh, fun to do while they're watching the live videos of Santa's location and everything. Because once they find out where Santa is, uh, that's where um, that's where they got to go to bed. Because if they're ever going to expect presents, they need to go to bed pretty early or something. So make sure uh, they pay attention to where uh, Santa's claws is going to be. Uh, especially, like, if they're gonna come, if he's coming, like, really close to where you are now, uh, or he's coming in the next state or whatever, you need to make sure you get those kids to bed. So, I'll probably do my event, um, as soon as I can, but for now, I'm just giving you my ideas about what to do. Um, like, like, for instance, uh, what I did, uh, was get magical stocking uh, from Santa, or uh, magical ornaments uh, from Santa and everything, and as you can tell, Santa sent me these paper ornaments, um, and they look pretty simple to make, so all you have to do is just get construction paper, print out, um, characters that you want your kids to do, glue it, and they can create their own ornament, you can put, like, 2020 on the back or whatever, but believe me, that's a creative idea that you guys can do, um, and 
believe me, it's going to be one of those times when you have to get yourself ready and get yourself going, especially the kids. Um, but believe me, it's, uh, it's a challenge, I know. I know. <laughs> um, one thing you could also do is, like, if you have kids who have siblings or uh, you want to do kids versus parents or whatever, you can always do a Christmas trivia like I did last night. But either way, uh, this is definitely something for five more days until Christmas. So you better have presents wrapped. Here's the thing. If you... Um, if you want to, like, get cookies going, I know me and my mom have been getting cookies going. Uh, with me, I don't want to make too much because I'm, we don't really have much of a big family like we normally do. But, if I know my brother and my sister, they love Pacific cookies that I need to help with, so, yeah. <laughs> um, but believe me. Or you can do, like, cookie decorating. Do cookie shapes and the kids can decorate them. Uh, either way, it's a, it's a fun thing to do during Christmas Eve. So, um, those are just a couple of the ideas I have for you guys. And I'm hoping you'll enjoy. Um, if you have any more ideas, go ahead and do them. Uh, because, like I said, we're only five more days till Christmas. But we're four more days until uh, Christmas Eve. So, th this is just an episode called Christmas Ideas for Christmas Eve. So I hope you enjoy, and I wish you guys happy holidays. Bye! And so, Merry Christmas, Joyeux Noël, Mele Kelikimaka, Feliz Navidad, Y Buon Natal. From our house of fun and laughter to yours, Happy Holidays.